We welcome the High Commissioner's continued monitoring of the situation in Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Since the second Kashmir report, the human rights conditions in the occupied territory have further deteriorated as a result of India's illegal actions of August 2019. India continues to defy UN Security Council resolutions and the Fourth Geneva Convention by accelerating the pace of demographic engineering of the disputed territory and reportedly additional unlawful actions. More than 3.5 million foreigners have been granted Kashmiri citizenship, allowed to buy property and local jobs. On top of it, over 900,000 occupation forces continue to kill, torture, arbitrarily assess, arrest and detain hundreds of Kashmiris under the cover of draconian laws, use of state terrorism and imposition of an iron curtain. The Hindutva Raj has muzzled the local judiciary, gagged the media, silenced the civil society through reprisal attacks and denied access to foreign media or UN human rights machinery. A group of UN special procedures have even described the situation to be in free fall and called on the global community to step up. Today, Pakistan echoes this call for action. The Council must hold India accountable for its widely documented crimes. The global flag bearers of human rights should practice what they preach and call out India's grave violations. We reiterate our request to the High Commissioner to issue a report on the situation in Jammu and Kashmir in exercise of our prevention mandate. I thank you.